It's your time. What's up? How's everyone doing, man? Guys, gals, <laughs> all the peoples. All of the citizens of the nation, what are we drinking tonight? <laughs> well, you guys know what we're drinking. What are you drinking? That's exactly. And what should um, I start with? Monroe Doctrine, first one in the chat. And then uh, Robot Scott, Ron's Wood Turning Shop and Stuff, um, which is a really cool channel. So be sure to go check him out. Um, Mr. David Schwabold, James, Speech Mark 4. Nick A G, Steve A, of course. Steve A is in all the chats. All the chats. If, if you guys are in a chat, you know Steve. He's everywhere. So Tommy Minchu, what's up, buddy? <laughs> you and me, buddy. You and me. <laughs> I'm watching you. Watching you. <laughs> so I got uh, I got Tommy's bottle right here. Cam is drinking the right Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A120. We killed that last night. It was we, so sad. That was that was A120. A119. Oh wait, I don't like the A120. No, I'm you sorry. Don't. I was thinking A119 and said A120. Mash and drum. What's up? What's up, Jason? Jason? What's up? What's up? So I have to ask, uh, Cam, what do you think of the A120? Because um. <sighs> can't get behind that one it's just so eh. off profile and you know what it is it tastes like buffalo trace oh can i have the four roses please yes yes you may a little, a little warmer upper i don't do warm-ups what are we drinking first you want the 152 proof yes i do first drink of the night 152 proof why not 52 53 something like that it is 152.4. So we're going to round up and call it 153. But that's the way we do it. I got some uh, I a small batch select. The C919 was good. Yes, that is really good. C919 is very good. Actually, I like all Elijah Craig. I just don't like the A120. Just the 120, man. Me either. Killed a bottle of OGD 114. Oh, oh that's beautiful. What did I pour? <laughs> it's one of them nights. Oh, it's a barrel rye. I like this one. It's a barrel is 14 this, year, 152 proof rye. This is not the one I thought it was. This is 229. <clears throat> hmm? Wasn't the what was the one that I had? That was a regular one. This is a barrel pick from Elixir. David, David. I am not chugging this. Nice try. <laughs> not chugging 153 I'd on the another, first drink. I'd pay another 10 bucks to see that. I'm not that drunk yet. <laughs> Thought about it. It took me a second. I was about to do Crash it. And I was mind. like, $20. $20 to finish the drink. Uh, no, 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 not yet. No. Mm. This is like amateur hour, man. Can't even have the. Uh... Wow. Yep. That's good. It is. It's got a lot of cherries. And I would never say that a rye tasted like cherries. And it's not cherries like cherry Coke. It's like fresh cherries. Okay, well, you need a drink for David. Can I just enjoy my 153 proof? Give me something that I can. Four roses. That's good enough. Senor David Schwabo. Good old David. First after that. All right. There you go, David. That's an acceptable four. What's the 153 proof, Cam? That is a barrel rye. It is a 14-year-old barrel rye, and it is really, really good. It's first sip of the night. Single barrel from Elixir Spirits. If you guys know Elixir, you know what's up. Benchmark. It's uh. I, wait. Freaking delicious. And we got Jason Beach, in the house. MK4. Jason. Benchmark. No, why did I get Benchmark? I don't Beach. know, but David. And then we got to do. Cheers, David. And it begins. Ah. Uh, now, why do I do that on this and I don't do that on that? That makes sense. You want some more absolute... for uh, beach? Sure. Beach. Is it going to be one of those nights? Come on, you guys. Don't do this to me. I don't have kids tonight. I need to be up early. I am going to be installing uh, insulation. Really? I'm All not. Day. Really? Well, then. Don't do the whole thing. Oh, that's gonna be one of those things. Um, I'll be installing insulation all day tomorrow in uh, in the new studio. Oh, 
I'll come help. I have to take dogs to the vet. My dog's been coughing. You ever heard what a dog sounds like? It's coughing. It sounds like it's dying. So my next project is a whiskey cork clock on a live edge slab. That, that sounds, sounds awesome. awesome. Hell yeah. Where is that? Ron's wood turning shop and stuff. A whiskey cork. Hey, Ron, do you do barrel heads? Aaron's wondering. Yeah, asking for a friend. He's not supposed to hear this. Cheers. Cheers to Beach. Thank you, Beach. Was that the one bourbon you let me try that I never heard of? The one that I thought was as good as Stag? Yeah, probably. It's no. got a lot of cherries in it. No, there was, uh, there was the Willem LaRue Weller. The happy and cheers, beach. Like that makes my hair stand up. This doesn't. The 153 proof doesn't, but the 102 does. That makes no sense. Beach, the new studio uh, appreciates your contributions. Yes, very much so. Very much so. How do you have your wife not kill you when you bill over a budget a studio? Go live with bourbon people. Give her bourbon. That too. A rye you ain't never seen. You're that's yeah, that's pretty much accurate. Uh, although last time I was in there, he had a few left. So Chip is oh, Chip. Chip. I you was like, I that. knew this name, and I was like racking my brain. That. See the blonde's right there. It really is. I can say that now. Kyle, that's hit Chip who supercharged you. Fitting because Chip is in the cars. Um, so I know what y'all wanted to see tonight, and uh, that's. No, you have not missed it, Madonna. Uh, Probably, Madonna doctrine. Was wondering about the old Carter. What year? We could do old Carter first. I was going to do some Masters Keep 17, Bottled and Bond. But uh, if y'all want to do the old Carter, we can uh, we can do that first. What do you guys think? Masters Keep, old Carter. Which one? You pick. The old Carter is the Batch 3 Bourbon at 106.8 proof. How do you break her? Well, Elijah Craig barrel proof is what I first started drinking. I went from barrel wine to uh, or bourbon wine to uh, to the um, Elijah Craig. Patrick. Patrick. So um, cheers. This is we're we're doing Friday night. This is a new thing now for us. Um, it was like eighteen channels. It was like eight channels. So that that's a lot. Bourbon channels that went live on Thursday night, and we were like the last one. Um, so we're like, you know, we put it out a vote to the nation Friday or Saturday night. People don't have work the next day. It made sense, and uh, almost unanimously, everyone voted so for Friday. Friday night. So, so I guess our Friday night is now going to be spent with you guys drinking. Here we are. Patrick said, "It's always great to catch you guys." Cheers. So cheers on that. Cheers to you, sir. I'm going to finish off my uh, four roses. I had to figure out what I was drinking in this glass. God, that's always good. It is. Thank you, Patrick. We appreciate it. Again, so the studio appreciates your contributions. Right. Oh, we need to get a list going, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I was about to say. So are we doing is same rules, same apply? Always? Yeah, same rules. Why not? So, Rules are, while we're going live, you super chat us. We will get your name entered into a list to see who will get a sample of anything on the table. And let me tell you, there's a lot on our table tonight. And, and y'all know what's in the, what's listed on the live right now. So. Yep. So those are some really like hard choices to make and some really awesome choices to make. It's like, what do we pick? So, so Kyle's working on getting a spreadsheet going. Yep. And I can only read half of your comments. So it really makes life interesting. Like I said, guys, this is like fucking amateur hour. Okay. It's always amateur hour on our show. Come hang out with us. Come drink. We have amateurs. no agenda. <laughs> Ch chatting and drinking with you guys. That's, that, that's, that's about the, the extent agenda. of our agenda. And you know what? We don't have mm -hmm. kids to yell out. I don't have to have Tourette's tonight. I'm so excited. Hey, Facebook user, head on over to YouTube because right now it says Link you are is in the description. Yep, links in the description. Um, the only thing we got right now, it says uh, Facebook user. So appreciate that. And especially if there's more than one Facebook user because then you all come up as one and it's real interesting. Um, what is our favorite? So, Nation, what is my favorite? Booker's New Riff, Elijah so Craig, have... Barrel Proof. You got Chip, Chip. David. Patrick, might want to get some last names on a couple of these. 
We know who Chip and David are. Yeah. Patrick's last name. Fulmer. Well, you got him. Amateur hour. Seriously, like you're screwing me up. Yeah, F Homer. Okay. I and then know. James. I know. And James. All right. All right, James. Mm. Booker's Backyard Barbecue. Yes. Love my Booker's. But uh, I'm here to watch Aaron get what? Hold on. Shwasted. Shwasted? Oh, well, that happens. They don't call me. The guys joke around and call me Earthquake Aaron for a reason. Now I'm energized. Energizer. I can do an energizer, buddy. All right. All right. James is going. I still have one, actually. I, I'm, I'm James, you're trying not to die tonight. Old Forester Rye, buddy. Try not to die. So this is my last sip of this. Actually, it needs a little bit more than that. Who's that? What's that? What is it? Four roses. Because oh. you poured me like the biggest pour. Who's you guys do scotch? Uh, hey, Facebook user. Um, please. Click big on heart. Click on the link so I can at least say your name. Because if another person comes on to Facebook, y'all are going to be the same person. But with that, um, um, a little bit of scotch. Yeah, not not a whole lot. Uh, I do like a good Irish whiskey. I grew up um, drinking scotch. My dad drinks scotch. So um, in my when I grew up, as uh, nothing was off limits. I was always allowed to uh, have a sip of anything. So I drink a lot. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say a lot of scotch, but. It's kind of a nostalgia thing. I don't know if I actually really like it. I like the more vanilla. -y. Old, Old Forester Rye is freaking delicious. True story. Um, I need to try that, Mark. Yeah, it's it's just a really good salt. It's I would say it's more like a high rye bourbon than like a really rye rye. The barrel so, rye doesn't have any of the rye notes. I like to see the Master's Keep as well. We'll get the chance to buy that in Australia. Wow. Welcome. That's awesome. Australia gets a lot of cool stuff, man. No, I'm um, just excited. Wait. Brendan. Oh, okay. I was like, someone from Australia is watching us? That's cool. Like, what time zone is it there right now? Do we, what, what, how, time? what time is it? So, cheers to James. I, I already did it. Oh. You're late to the game. There you go. Nowhere to find. So what backyard barbecue? Uh, yeah. Richie Z. Uh, What's up, buddy? Can, um, can we name where we can buy backyard barbecue? Is that allowed? Terrence, are you in Middle Tennessee? Yes. That is the um, So what was the consensus, guys? Old Carter or Master's Keep 17? I don't think we ever got there. I, I put it out and then I got distracted. Barrel rye is 100% rye? Really? That would not surprise me. All right, Ron. Try some tea stuff. Wind I'm going to now start drinking my barrel right now that I finished the other one. So OG try some tea and put down for a sample of the old granddad 114. All right. Do we have that one on the table right now? Old granddad? Where is it? Uh, we should have some in the cabinet. I may have taken over to my parents' house. We can probably make that happen. But. No, middle of New Jersey. Um, hmm. That makes it a little harder. That does make it. Um, yeah. I would look online. I've been able to find almost everything online. If you look up backyard barbecue online, you might be able to make something happen with one of the um one of the uh liquor stores in your area. Ironically enough, backyard barbecue is really not that hard to find, or maybe I'm just spoiled um and uh I'm able to get my hands on it readily. Alrighty, Ooh. we still need a drink for bronze wood training stuff. Did you add them to the list? Yes, I did. Okay, good. I got you. Oh. All Cheers. right, Ron, you're getting Old Forester because that's <laughs> what's within reach right now. And then we'll do the Old Carter. And then I will pour some Old Carter. Some OC. Some OC bourbon. Batch that is three. really, really good. What's that? The 153 barrel. Oh, you would say that. It, yeah. it, I will say it doesn't drink like 152 proof. 153. What's the number of backyard barbecue? Ooh, uh, that's a good question. I should 18 know this. 18-2? Maybe 18-3? 18-2. 18-2. Thank was you, right. Chip. Chip is the man. Get some agua. 
how far off are you from the new studio? We're working as fast as we can. Uh, it's It's been an <clears throat> uphill climb, I will say that. Uh-huh. We have walls. We- Did we lose everybody? No, they'll be back. Hey, are we, are we back? Are we live? It says we're live. Can somebody tell us if you can see us or hear us? But I see the chat moving. Woohoo! We're back. Welcome to uh, World with Aaron. Woo! Nothing ever seems to ever work right. What happened? Who knows? Our computer decided that Our it was going to shut down and say we're not playing anymore. Completely froze. The, the laptop did. It wasn't the internet this time. We told you guys this was amateur hour. <laughs> okay, you didn't believe us. No, uh, it's uh, it's this is this is the way we work. <laughs> and we're back. And you know what I love is the fact that everyone stayed by. They're like, oh, they'll be back. This is what happens. All right, so. Uh, I was getting in the old Carter. Yeah, that's what we're opening up because God knows we need a drink after that. I was like, um, what just happened? Yeah, Y2K 2020. Um, so whoever roll, whoever started the game of Jumanji, um, we, out of turn. yeah, we need to, uh, we need to, uh, like stop this because uh, now I'm hearing rumors of like Yosemite blowing up and uh, asteroids coming like 310,000 miles from our Earth and. Uh, crab people I heard are living in the center of the universe. I mean, what's next? <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have walls. We have roof. We have uh, everything. I'm going to be putting in insulation tomorrow. And then hopefully... Um, we have a hole in our roof, though, right now. Because we still have a hole. Little trim pieces need put on. Um, I'm still doing the insulation tomorrow, because fuck it. Um <laughs> And then after wrong. that, um, Buddy's coming over to do the electrical. Can you grab me a knife, please? Or here, you have the nails. Is that why you keep ladies around so we can put um, stuff in your balls? So Buddy's going to come over and do the electrical. And then after oh, that, somebody, um, huh? some, some, some guy's going to come over. Travis and, and Aaron. <laughs> Um, well, you're not doing it by yourself. You won't no. do it without him. No, I won't. You're so, absolutely right. But yeah. Um, and then after that is me. drywall. And then after that, man, it's just paint. Yeah, painting and putting stuff in. That's so, easy. 
Yeah, that stuff we can we can knock all that stuff out easy. I think you can get it now. I can get it now. Ready? Don't Old forget Carter. murder hornets. Yes, and the mur and the murder hornets. American batch three. Uh, there's also uh, screw the murder hornets. There is apparently um, genetically engineered Russian um, uh, ticks. Hmm. So no more Lyme disease. You don't have to worry about that. They're just gonna murder you. Here we go. Old Carter. Cork pop. Oh, that was that weak was spot. weak. <laughs> Hopefully, weak. it tastes better than the pop. That was so sad. I pumped that up too. I know you totally did. Yeah, the murder hornets went away. Um, so, old Carter batch three American or uh, sorry bourbon, not American. Ooh, the smells and beautiful. Someone was right, man. That. I mean, that stuff is dark, dark, dark. I'm scared that it's going to just taste like oil. Uh, Tommy, we haven't forgotten about you. You will be entered. Tommy. We need to enter him on the spreadsheet. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy, boy. Yeah, it was a, it was the most pathetic pop I've ever heard, Steve. There was no pop. There wasn't. It was just a bleh. It threw up. All right. So, Tommy. Tommy doesn't get a, he doesn't get entered into uh Yes, he does. Don't listen no. to him. Tommy, Tommy's chug game is weak. No, Tommy's Tommy's cool people. Him and I were going. Uh, we had a meme war back and forth. It was a lot of fun. Um, you made his night. You totally made his night. Better get it insulated while it's a hundred degrees out for for real. Like it's freaking hot. Although, um, like three quarters of it is shaded in trees. It is really and nice. We couldn't have asked for a better place, actually. I did six-inch studs, so our 19 insulation and uh, double bubble wrap all the way around and the roof and everything. So I'm excited. It, it'll be it'll be nice. And in there. we're having an air conditioner installed. So yep, air conditioner and heater. Haven't figured out how to get internet out there though. Two ninety nine? No, uh, about two hundred. This one was one seventy nine. So so back to our uh, conversation about two hundred dollar bottles. No, oh, I only have like two of them. Uh huh. There's two on the table, at least. No, nope. there's, four. there's th one, two, three, four, four maybe five. five. Yeah, like yeah. So, so your two bottle, two hundred dollar, two bottles. Yeah. No, you have, it's so five. five, five times two. Let's do math. I don't spend a lot of money on on whiskey, guys. No, no, Kyle doesn't ever spend money on whiskey. <laughs> All right, back to the whiskey. Actually, thanks to our Patreon people, I don't have to spend a whole lot of my money on bourbon anymore. Still spend and cheers some, to the you guys, because uh, I might have had to kill Kyle. And cheers to Tommy. Yep. For well, hold on, uh, you got to get flavor notes on this thing. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna do. Yeah, do this one. Here you go, honey. You can chug that. I mean, I will if I get. I don't give a shit. Yeah, but if you weren't <laughs> expecting it, I would have giggled. Um. So, Tommy, this is the end of my 153. Well, maybe not. It might be. We'll see. Tommy already saw the 153. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yep, that's the end of that. All right. Wi-Fi extenders. Uh, actually, I'm going to run Cat6 cable out there. We have and, a Wi-Fi extender for our house, um, and it doesn't always work the greatest. That's a cell signal extender. Um, it's something. Master Skeet. We're doing that one next. Master Skeet got, is uh, next. We got old Carter in our glasses So you right have now. not missed it. Nope. Still. If still you're just coming in, old Carter, batch three, bourbon. What's so, the proof on this? 106. Okay. I mean, it's barrel proof. Well, my worry is I just 8. fried out all my taste buds with the, the oh, you did. barrel. You definitely did. So, the specs on the old Carter proof age mash bill. Okay, so proof is going to be 106.8. 106. It is it's batch what? three. Bottle um, number 824 of 1539. And age, I don't think. It has an one, age statement? Some of them you see, they have a neck tag up here that says 12 year on it or whatever the case may be. Um, this one does not say. It is not stated. Now, I think we got this, David, at least tonight. We don't have uh, the COVID. I think we're, I think we're past COVID. That was that was sucky. Like, I can't tell you how many lives. Well, our computer decided to turn off our live tonight, so I can't really say too much. But um, um, old Carter, it's there's. I mean, they only distribute to a few states to begin with. Um, and I mean, when you have a release of only fifteen hundred bottles, there's 
What are you getting it's on? It's hard to get. I'm getting lots of like leather and tobacco and it's dark. It is dark. I'm not getting like fresh tobacco, like tobacco plants, not like dried out tobacco. Right. Tommy's calling you out saying you have the weakest meme game ever. <laughs> That's probably true. I, I suck at that game. Um, so, so Marcus, yeah, I mean, there's men who leather. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to say there's not a lot going on because there is, but at the same time, like it's subdued. It's, it's all mellow. It's whispering to you, right? And it's all pretty well balanced. Like nothing's. It smells dusty too. I mean, I'm getting like all like of the nothing sticking out. I don't know about that. Dusty leather, Roger. Roger. Roger, come over and drink with us. Um, don't tell him to show up at the house. You're more than welcome to, but I'm not. I I I can either confirm or deny my house is a wreck. Why is it Master Scheme Seventeen isn't for sale in Kentucky yet? Um, I don't know. Just, you know, Tennessee. Tennessee's better than Kentucky, right? Well, it may, maybe it's like a Lynchburg thing because you can't buy Jack Daniels in the county it's made in, nor in the town it's made in. Well, I can't say that anymore. You can buy it at the distillery, but up until like really recently, you couldn't. So maybe you're having like some of that going on. All right. Anyway, let's get in Cheers. here. Cheers. Cheers to y'all. <laughs> you all right over there? I hit it. I remember my first drink. No, that really hurt. I inhaled it. You okay? I went to talk and I forgot to swallow. Yeah? Yeah. Let me tell you, that's got a lot of smoke on it. And it's got like tobacco mm -hmm. and leather. It's in my lungs. <coughs> oh, that hurt. Leather, tobacco. Holy moly, mother of goodness. So Excuse me, guys. I am so sorry. It's, when Kyle said it was amateur hour, he wasn't kidding. <laughs> I literally took a breath and I inhaled the bourbon. Oh. So bourbon does not belong in your lungs. No. That was intense. You should replace it with air. That's a first Aaron forgot to swallow. Thanks, <laughs> David. Uh, God. How shots that fired. Really burn? Shots fired. Oh, that hurt. Do you have the ECBP 520 yet? I don't. No, not we don't. From, nope, not this year. Um, That's really good. We don't. Let me try that one again without I don't see, inhaling it. I don't see Elijah Craig barrel proof in Tennessee, but maybe two or three times in the last like three years. It is not around here. Went down the <laughs> Oh, that was intense. So this is a really interesting. COVID-19 killer inhale right there. Yeah, there's no COVID <laughs> anymore in my lungs, but I you think. You know, with the 152 proof? I would have died. I would have gotten sick. That took everything in me. I gagged. Oh, that was painful. Um, this is really interesting because it starts off really smooth and vanilla y and like some caramely taste. And then it's like. Baking spices, peaches. Okay. Uh, and then rolls into like the leather, the dusty. Yeah, it turns left and goes dusty and leather char. and. Uh, have another snort. Yeah. I wouldn't say it turns left so much as it it's just kind of like it round it rounds a corner. No, That's it doesn't not, do a 90 degree turn, but no, it's just a it's a nice uh, nice evolution of flavors. So do you want to guess where this was distilled? I can't because I can't even taste anything at the moment. I'm still trying not to keep like get the bourbon out of my lungs. Um where it's distilled? Caramel. As Jason would say. Caramel. Caramel. He can get away with that. You can't. The new pin hook for this year? No, but I've heard good things about the new uh, like series release they're doing. I want to say this is out of um, Wild Turkey. Uh, Roger, we are drinking the Old Carter Batch 3 American. So where is... Or sorry, Batch 3 Bourbon. I keep saying American. So this they don't so they don't they they obviously are sourcing is since you were asking me where it was distilled. Barrel strength bottled in Bardstown, Kentucky. Okay, so before I say anything else, it's it I, I'm taking it as sourced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're not. They're well, no. This tastes a lot like uh, wild turkey. 
I could kind of see that. Especially out of my lungs. Maybe a little heaven hill in there. I, I could get that too, but I, I really think my, my money's on wild turkey with this. You ready? Just, yeah. Where is it out of? Distilled in Tennessee. No shit. No shit. And that's not, di it's dickle juice? It's with how dark and old it tastes. What? This is not dickle. It doesn't taste like dickle. It does not taste like dickle. There's no vitamin. Mm -mm. There's no vitamin dickle there's no, in this. There's no standard dickle flavor in there at all. No. Bourbon, not American. Yes. This yes. is the bourbon. This is not the American. That's the American was 15, 12, and 11 year juice. Um, yes, but this is the bourbon. So, yeah. Bell Mead first time tonight. Sweet and spicy. Yep. It is. Bell Mead's good. I am really hurting now. That yeah. was painful. Like my chest is hurting. Not what you had in mind? No. I don't think this is Jack either. No, there's no, no. Jack there's doesn't no, first anyone, no. as far as I know. This is not Jack. I'll be all right. Yeah, so. this is not a Brown Foreman product. You ready for the Master's Keep? I'm going to need a minute after that. Yeah, normally, You only Nick, had a minute. You had three minutes. I need a couple more of those. Yeah, Nick, this does not taste like Dickel whatsoever. Like I said, I would go either. Um, I was going to say Heaven Hill, actually. I don't, I don't know that it is Dickel, but it is distilled it's in, in Tennessee. Tennessee. So, As far as I know, mass production stuff, Dickel's pretty much the only one that has anything over six or seven years. Calvin, how are you doing? You've got some pre-bourbon. What's pre-bourbon? Um, yeah, I might need a half a second. That really was painful. Kicked your ass? Yeah. Do not inhale 106 proof bourbon. It doesn't feel so hot. Drink some water. I have been. I need to go blow my nose because like my nose is running and everything else. So give me a second. You guys drink and I'll be right back. All right. I am going to pour her. Some of the Masters Keep 17 for y'all. I want some stuff that comes in a mason jar. Calvin, just saying. You know, with you guys being in Tennessee, what are your thoughts on Dickel and Jack Daniels whiskey? Uh, Dickel, definitely better than Jack. Um, sorry, David. And uh, Dickel Tour leaps and bounds better than Jack. Um Jack Barrel Proof is good, but I mean, I say a lot of Tennessee stuff definitely tastes like it's from Tennessee and not always in a good way. Um, I'm a big Kentucky, Indiana fan. And yeah, I'm, I, I prefer Kentucky, Indiana stuff. But Rich is uh, yeah, Honey Barrel Dickel barely have any vitamins. Um, and that's that's totally true. Totally true. Um, just like a really good Jack uh, single barrel or Jack single barrel uh, barrel proof doesn't have hardly any uh, banana notes on it that I get. At least for me, I'm I prefer the without the banana. Sands banana, eighty six the banana. Dickel bottled and bond was good. Um, Jack barrel picks better than Dickel. Yeah, yeah, Corey, I would I would agree with you there, man. I really would. I have not done the Chattanooga tour. I want to. Um, we've eaten dinner like right next door to it uh, a couple times now. I've driven by it a bunch. Haven't caught a chance. Usually it's on um, like a Sunday for whatever reason when we're driving through there. Tried a lot of their stuff. Buy a lot of their stuff. It's really good. A uh, huge fan of what Chattanooga is doing over there. I bet a 15-year-old Jack would be pretty good. Uh, what's your guys' take on true bourbon only comes from Kentucky? Not, no. No, I prefer Kentucky stuff in general, but, I mean, you can get good bourbon from just about anywhere. Um, Diggle is so mineral, Flintstones, vitamins. Yeah, you, usually I would agree with you. Old Carter, not. Best bottled and bond. Uh, well, Masters Keep 17, spoiler alert. Um, the Dickel Bottom and Bond is really good. Um, what else? I mean, you got the old like Heaven Hell Six here, but that's that's no more. 
Um, Ooh, Heaven Hill six here is amazing. What did you get for me? Jack Daniels broke up, didn't have a new banana. Yeah. Uh, it depends I haven't on the poured you anything yet. Um, Chattanooga Experimental. Yes, yeah, they've got a lot of those, and they're freaking awesome. Um, ten year single barrel beat bottled and bond. What? Uh, I thought the ten year single barrel was a bottled and bond, but anyway, I'm I'm over single Henry. barrel of what? Oh, McKenna ten year. Are you talking about Henry McKenna? Um, I'm I, I'm not a huge Henry McKenna fan. Um, they got some really good barrels, but it's just too much of a gamble nowadays. It really is. Um, I've gotten more bad barrels than good, and I'm I'm just over it. Um, I only got to look through the glass and chat with them, please. Well, that's left in a few bottles left. Diggle Twelve is good, man. Corey, Diggle Twelve is legitimately good. Um, we did a I review like it. on it. It's yeah. All right. So what are we? Okay. So now I'm that like. Old Carter is trying to kill me. Can you um, put a lid on that? That'd be awesome. Why? Because all I can smell is pickles. Well, this is making me feel better. <laughs> and you can continue to eat them. Evan Williams bottom the bond. Old Granddad bottom the bond. Yeah, absolutely. I love the old Evan Williams bottom the bond. Old Granddad bottom the bond is really good too. For whatever reason, it always seems to make it into my flask, but I never reach for it in a glass. But you just like to drink it on the go. I guess like it, it's good. I really like it. I like the old granddad bottled and bond better than the 114. I know crazy, but so. Corey feels the same thing way about Booker's as you do about the Henry uh, Hank McKenna. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be Henry McKenna. All right, let's see this. This one's a good one. Masters keep 17 year bottled and bond newest release. As most of you have said in the chat, it's not in a lot of states yet. Uh, Tennessee did get it, and I was lucky enough to get one. You know what? I really like that old Carter. It's always such a tight fit. It fits tight in the hole. You know what I mean? Like, once it goes in, it just doesn't want to come out, man. Lord help us if that was the case. Um, Bean bottled and bond underrated. Um... So, yeah, Wild Turkey Bottle, this is the second bottle and bond that Wild Turkey has ever done. Awesome. Court, I need as always. A queen I was just going in with these. Yeah, but I don't want that to. I didn't put it in the 153 rye glass. Yeah, but I don't sure. want to put it in the, I also don't want to put it in the old Carter because it's so much tobacco and that one tried to kill me tonight. Here, we're just gonna rinse so it. So good, yes. So good. Oh, you actually got me a glass of it. I did. I told you I did. Sorry. We rinse that out. Yeah, I'm not happy with the old Carter because it tried to kill me. Weak pullout game. It is, man. It is. Oh. Once it's in there, it's in it to win it. So YL says that if you like it in the flask but not in the glass, that must mean you like the palate but not the nose. I could see um, that. Maybe. I mean, I, I just like it overall. Just for whatever reason, I never I never grab you it. You know, it's not like he's the only bottle he has. I think it's like we every once in a while we come into the problem of we have so much to drink that we don't know what to drink and we don't have anything to drink. Quick pop. Let's see if it's got one again. Oh, there we go. That's that was it. a good one. That was good. I, I like that one. Oh, my gosh. You can't what? get food because of <laughs> curfew. That we, sucks. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Um, Uber Eats? No. If they're under curfew, everything shut down. Second 17 year as well. Yes. Yo, Jim. You, yo, Jimbo. You're absolutely right, man. Cheers, brothers in the dram. Um, All right. What do we got on this one? So this one's a lot lighter. Baking spice, caramel, apples. I'd go with that. I think. Fruit. Like summer fruits. Touch of vanilla. Little you know what it reminds cherry. me of? A, like a, like a, I don't want to say an apple pie, but like a pear pie. Creme brulee. I could go with that too. Yep. Like a breaded creme brulee though. Mm -hmm. You got to have some crust in there. Burnt sugar. Toasted barrels. Charred wood. A little bit of leather in there. 
Oh, I can see that. It's got like a touch, just a touch. It's, it's a hint. A little bit of leather and tobacco, just just it's, a little bit. And it's very subtle. Uh, I'm gonna say these, like, I'm gonna say these 17 year barrels were probably in a colder warehouse, lower lower tier, center center aged more. Just they don't have ooh. that like bam full of everything. Just so all good. very. You know what this is like? This is like eating cream brulee. A pear cream brulee with a crust next to a wood fire. I mean, it's it's got all of those notes. <laughs> now, full disclosure, uh, I was not a huge fan of the Russell's 2002. I wasn't. It's got a ton of uh, like barrel tannins on it and stuff, and I'm I'm not about that life. Um, so I know some people are, and they absolutely love it, and that's cool, man. You you do you. Oh, I can wow. tell you wrong. I I can see why people would like it. It's it's just not my thing. Do this, you know, on the other hand, is this mm. is really interesting. It's got like carbonation on it. It's got all like the fizzies in your tongue. I think that bourbon in your lungs went to your head. It could have. And that was really bad. <laughs> I'm really glad I got over that. I needed the blow um, nose. It's really good. Yeah, it is. It's but I definitely so good. pear cream brulee with a crust sitting by a fire. So, Ron, thanks for joining us. We'll let you know uh, when we uh, do the roundy round and figure out who wins, and uh, we'll let um, you know. On the on the palate, definitely more baking spices. More, um, I know what you're talking about. That like that fizzy tasting. It's got like um, carbonation. Like everyone says, baking spice, and I say it's like baking soda. This is more like carbonation than baking soda but yeah it's got um, that ting tongue tingling fizziness yeah i mean it's just it's got that summer fruit the baking spices more of that like barrel char smokiness um i don't get smoky on a lot of bourbons but this is definitely one that i don't get smoky do. but like sitting by a campfire smoky not like smoky that like from a barbecue like, does that make sense? Terrence, are you looking for decades? Or, so decades is good, but I just can't put my finger on it. Um, decades was not one of my favorites, man. Um, the Revival was amazing. Cornerstone was really good. I think I liked Cornerstone, but I don't remember. Decades, I just, I can't get behind it. You wanted to, too. You were I really, got a four really disappointed. single barrel that is carbon no nuts, tingle on Nick, the nut. Not a nut in it. It is not nutty. At all. I wish it was nutty. That would be an amazing added profile I can to it. I almost see like a cashew though. Mm -mm. Maybe it's because he said it and it's like the power of influence. But There's no cashews on that. There's no nuts. I love nuts. You love nuts in your mouth. I think the bad batches of decades different. I, I, I hope so, man. Cause the, I've had it a couple times and every time I'm just not a fan. Casky equals smoky. Same to you guys. Um, mm, a little bit. I could understand that thought process. Um, yeah. I, I, don't know. I just get more smoky. But I do get like a lot of like barrel char as well. So not like an overpowering amount, but I mean, it's definitely there. So Richie Z asks us a question. I'm going to double click on it and see if I can actually make it. There we go. I was on the wrong screen. Um, do you or I have a favorite bourbon note or uh, Richie Z loves honey and cinnamon? Um, I absolutely love vanilla and I love nuttiness. So those two are um, my two favorite baking spices too. Those Cherry. Cherry and baking spices. I, I, yeah. Yep. I like um, um, more vanilla-y, creamy. Yeah, I mean, I, I do too, but... Yeah. I'm all about them nuts. Cher cherries where it's at. Which is probably why you like I like, I like the cherries in my mouth. She likes the nuts in her mouth. That's really good. Uh, the original 17 year was slightly better for me than the revival, uh, but I'd take a batch one WB Saffle over all the Masters keeps. Um, speaking of which, Corey, um, the batch two, not Saffle, Bond and Lillard is way better than the first one. It's much closer to the Saffle. Um, if you see one of the batch two, 
Bond and Lillard's grab it. So YL says caramel and peanut. I could go with that. Um, Tommy says turtles. Now I do hope you mean like the turtles, the candy, and not turtles that are like walking around. Because well, turtle, turtle soup. Turtle soup's good, but I in a bourbon note, I'm not so sure I'd want turtle soup. I love lamp. <laughs> hey Trey. How up, you Trey? doing? How you up? doing? You missed it. I inhaled bourbon. It was great. There's no COVID in my lungs. Um and I would say I would definitely take the Wild Turkey Masters Keep over the old Carter. Yes. This is, a, I, I, I like the old, well, I want to like the old Carter. I'm not the old sure. Carter was really good, but I am freaking in love with this Masters Keep. The Master Keep was a lot easier. It's just so well-rounded. I'm going to revisit balance. the old Carter when I don't inhale it first. I am, I'm still struggling with that. Uh, cherry Cola. Ugh. So what I'm hearing, what I'm reading. Roger loves Buffalo Trace. I was going to say, that's like every Buffalo Trace note I can get off of it. Uh, I just can't. Mm, so good. I like Turtles so video. Okay, what? I don't think we've seen that one yet. Uh, I have not because <clears throat> I'm really confused. Trey, yeah, if you can get me another uh, Master's Keep, man. Blue Box, 17-year. About bottled and bombed. I'll be that's, through there. I'll be the through one. there shortly. You won't even have to send it. Well, no, I won't. I take that back. I'm not going to California now, so because the world sucks and I'm pissed off at it. So, but yes, that's a thing. Um, we have four gate to go through, right? Yes. Let's do the red label first. Oh, we have two four gates. We do. I brought up both of them. All right. So. If you're just tuning in, anyone that super chats gets anything on the table in a sample. Um, with that being said, we've got... It's going to the Build Our Studio fund. Yes, two four gates. Um, the first one... Yeah, sample going, everything on the table. You guys know what's in. because well, And we'll take a, a picture. We have we have so much on the table right now. You guys are in for some like amazingness because we've got... What is that? That's something May. There's probably at least... We've like got a Clyde May on the table. we got two. some Red Breast. we got some... Uh, a couple barrel bourbon, barrel bourbon, barrel rye, um, Maker's Mark. We've got a little bit of everything right now. Maker's yeah. Mark, Russell's store picks. Um, there's a lot of store picks on the table. So anyway. Yeah, we'll work on that tray. Yeah, I will. I won't forget. Um, I'm going to wait until we actually get the glasses in hand again. I'm all out of everything pretty much. Um, You're on the list. So, yeah. Let's see what this does. Oh, good grief. So this is Four Gate Whiskey Company, Barrel Staved by Kelvin Cooperage, batch number four, bottle 100, even. I thought that was cool. Uh, at 115.6 proof. Barrel finish, limited release. Finished in new American white oak, toasted and charred casks. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. That's got something in it. That's been rinsed. This does not say where it was distilled. Let's talk guns. But it does say Kentucky Street. So. What do you got over there? A Glock? Do we have a gun showing? I don't think so. Yeah. Is there a gun somewhere? I don't think so. There shouldn't be. I don't know. Someone said, what do you got over there? A Glock? I'm a little confused. Maybe that's a quote from something? I don't know. Anyway, four gate split stave Kelvin Cooperage. It says the stave bottle was interesting, really unique, not, not in my opinion, great. Okay. And yeah, I, I, I would say it's good. At least the last time I tried it, I'm excited to get into it again. Ooh, this has a lot of vanilla notes on it. Got bottle sixteen thirty two. Uh. On your phone, there should be a dollar sign next to like the comment area. Yeah, it's right underneath the comment area. So please don't kill me, Trey. Please don't kill me. We don't want to play um, that game. It's on the sticker in the back of your laptop. Oh, whatever you lifted. So, oh, do you have? Oh, did I lift my laptop? Yeah, you lifted this oh. up. Oh, you yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, Sorry, y'all. I was trying to see what bottles we had. Four gate. 
Not likely. No, I, it um, would not stay up. Moose. Yeah, you did hear super chat. So yes, Moose, we will definitely add you to the list. Moose. Hey, honey. Moose. Moose. I lost. I <laughs> failed that one so bad. So. I really think we need to start a four. If 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 it's our meetup, what's a night without playing uh, King's Cup with Aaron? Night. That's what it is. Except we'll we'll take out the the fourth king because I don't want to kill anyone with the cup. Can you pour <laughs> some four roses? Yeah. Well, I got something. I got I got a little bit left in here. Okay. Can you pour me some four roses? Sure. Pour a favor. Whoa, Terrence. Terrence. Terrence coming in hot. Yeah, he is. All right. So Damn, there's son. that. Thank you very much. We will add your name to the list. But first things so. first, let's do. Moose. I got it. It was there. You can't do that. And you left your little dude on the glass. So now you can drink some more. <sighs> All right. Thank you, Moose. And Terrence Scott. And Trey. Good God. And Trey. Back to back to back to back. Thanks, Trey. Um, oh, now we're three behind you guys. Come on now. The studio appreciates it. Aaron does not. Not after I inhaled Aaron, it. Aaron appreciates it. Not after I inhaled it. My lungs are not happy at the moment. Aaron appreciates it. I may or may not have gone and got sick. She does not appreciate the, uh, the drinking. I do appreciate the gesture. I do appreciate the drinking. I just, my left lung has like bourbon still in it. All right. Favorite four roses recipe. Ooh. OBS OBSB is, is standard. It's but always solid. OBSQ can be really good. OESO is pretty Q much is good. up in the air. OESK. Nice and spicy. Pretty consistent. I like it. OBS. So, cheers to Terrence. I want to say OBS. Oh, I think that's oh. the one. All right. Cheers, Terrence. Cheers. <sighs> Terrence, I'll still have a drink for you. Woo. I'm not taking shots at this point. Moose? You lost. See, we can totally turn this into a drinking game. That was one tray. You got it. That's one. Bourbon lime, yes. Terrence says his tip is no shot required. See? Aaron appreciates that. No, I'm still told him I was having some for him. I've got some here. We're on Terrence, by Trade the way. All. No, we're on Terrence. We just did Terrence. Nope. Scooch up. Up, 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 up. Yep. We did Moose first, and then we did Terrence. No, we haven't. We yes, haven't. we did. Okay. Terrence, we'll just in case, a sip in your honor. Mm. That is tasty. Oh, JSK? I don't think that exists, dude. <laughs> um, That's orange juice with a... I don't know what you would put in with the orange juice, but it's OJSK. Vodka. OJ, no. I wonder how tequila and orange juice would be together. That's got to be pretty good, right? Anyone? Tequila and orange juice? You've never had tequila and orange juice? No. All right, cheers for Trey. Kyle's full of crap because his dad drinks tequila like there's no tomorrow. I think that's what your dad drinks is tequila and orange juice. Is there your Aunt Moni? I think I have, come to think of it. I was going to say, how the hell did you manage to grow up in your household right. without orange juice and tequila? All right. And this is for Eric. Eric. Senor Eric. Stop. It's hammer time. <laughs> oh, my lungs are not happy. Yeah. <sighs> you know what is happy? The studio. Is that what? Yeah, it's just, is that? It's it's. it's I, a, a tequila, I can't even say it. A tequila sunrise. There we go. I can find my nose. A tequila sunrise. Oh, good God. Jeremy. All right, Kyle's gonna be taking shots right. for me from Tommy. now on. Tommy. Tommy. I can't keep up. Tommy with you boy. I'm gonna. I, I'm. Isn't it a song? No. Tommy boy. I know boy, the Tommy movie. boy the movie. But there is a song too. Maybe I'm maybe I'm replacing words. He puts, also puts ice in his milk. Do you put ice in your milk? No. I was gonna say that doesn't sound like Kyle. I've never seen that. It's a Mexican screwdriver. Okay, I could go with that. 
Oh, Jubal does. Okay. Your dad puts milk in his ice? I don't milk? think so. No. I haven't seen that in uh in the no. 18 years that I've been around. So just saying. Not saying that I'm I'm totally calling you out, Trey. But Trey was around right. for like 18 years before you're 18 years. Yeah, but he's not sleeping with you. No, that, that matters All much. Right. With a splash of grenadine. No, you just ruined it. Oh, I fucking love grenadine. Oh, I love grenadine. Eric, cheers. Mm-mm. You're super names. Mm-mm. <sighs> We're on Tommy. That was Tommy we just did. That's right. We just did do Tommy. Stop. It's hammer time. Now, scroll down. <sighs> so that was the Tommy. Yeah, I know you would sleep with him. Now we got Dr. Jeremy. Now, did you put all of these names in the spreadsheet? Shit, no. Did you? There's one screen, dude. Last one I did was Moose. Oh, God. You're behind. By you're a behind. Shot. Okay, so we need to switch places so I can type. Oh, I got this shit. I'm on top of this. Moose is, you just need to scroll down. Was that Moose? Kyle, on. Kyle's been drinking. There's Moose. All right. So Terrence, Scott. You Moose, type. Yeah. You type, I'll drink. How's that sound? I, I love this game. Terrence, Scott. Trey. We got Eric. All right, guys, Sorry, guys. Tommy Boy is a song, right? No, it's not. Something Boy. Do, do, do. Oh. And not not closing. Actually, time. Old Tommy Boy is a song, but it is like an ancient Celtic song. Oh, no, not that. This is yeah, like I 90s. Know. Okay, we got Tommy and to uh, Tommy Mitchu mm. again. So you get mm. two entries to uh, Tommy Mitchu. And then Dr. Dr. Jeremy, Jeremy T. Tate. T. Tate. <laughs> That's awesome. T. Come on. You, you got this. What is the THD? <laughs> All right. Let's see if we got anybody else. Nope. There we go. Oh, Danny Boy. Thank Danny boy. you. Danny Boy. No, that's the Irish song. Don't tell me how to live my life. Tell me the who. What's the best store pick under 40 bucks? Uh, my Craig or Buffalo? I mean, those Elijah Craig, good. that's a stupid question. Those are both good. I but. like a good Buffalo Trace store pick. Ah? Uh? Johnny Boy. Yeah, uh? it's one of those. Here, have a pickle. Yeah, Tommy, hmm. Doctor of Theology. Okay. My mom has a doctor. Uh, no, she doesn't have a doctorate. She Trey, has a master's of theology. A bunch of $1 ones don't work. Sorry. Nice try, though. Uh, I may not be deaf, dumb, or blind, but I'll play some pinball. Um, strip club time. Let's do this. Oh, because you said you sent a bunch of ones. Uh -huh. Pinball wizard. Huh? It's a song. Uh, was that a Beatles song? Roger, who sang that? Buffalo Trace picks are better than uh, Elijah Craig picks. Uh, those are fighting words in my book, but that's okay. Um, Shelby B. Shelby A.G. Is, uh, are you related to Nick A.G.? Is that Nick, right? I think Nick so. Nick A.G.? A.G.? A.G. It's A.G. It's A.G. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a touch. Just a smidgen. Just a skosh. What'd you put in my glass? You poured your own damn glass. What'd you put in here? You haven't touched it. She's putting shit in my glass, people. Can't check. I'm not getting blamed for that. I don't know what it is. Oh, Lord. Well, cheers. There's nothing in there. There's a bubble. Bubbles. There's a bubble. It is a bubble. You are toasted. You're a bubble. Bubble. Good cheers. What? You'll be are you not... Do we cheers for the doctor? Yes, we did. Okay. Cheersing for Shelby. There you go. See who the doctor. Be Nick. The who? That's who it was. Jesus Christ. See what I have to deal with, you guys? Roger said Elton John. It was Elton John and the who? No. <laughs> <laughs> Matt no. Foley in a van. Tommy Boy. Well, yeah. When you're living in a van down by the river. Oh, my God. 
his wife. Thanks, guys. His wife shall be. Cheers. <laughs> See what I have to put up with. Cheers, Shelby. What I have to put up with. Ah. Who's that? Who's what? Nick. So one time I went to Twin and ate at a Twin Peaks. Life changed. Twin it's, Peaks is awesome. It's like Hooters, but the view is better and the food is a whole lot better. But it's not as good. I hate to say this. If you want to go for boob, boob restaurants, the best is the Tilted Kilt. Tilted Kilt is fantabulous. I used to work there. I was a cook. And um, the, they're Gaelic. We'll, ma they're we'll Gaelic, save that story for another time. But yeah, they're Gaelic. They're point. Gaelic chicken thingamabobber. Don't get it with the mashed potatoes. Get it with the pasta. And it is absolutely fantastic. I sound like your wife. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You don't have to answer. Aaron, one of the 90 proofers that impressed you was a Buffalo Trace pick. I know. Hmm. I know. Huh. They're far and few between, though. Huh. I know. I was shocked, actually, because it didn't taste like a Buffalo Trace. <laughs> like it, was, All right. it was an off profile. <laughs> now that the Super Chats have slowed down, All right. get Kelvin Cooperage. Oh, did I not drink that? Thank God, because no. I've been. I feel like I've been chugging. Ooh. Excuse me, I'm still recovering. It almost smells like a uh, like a port or a wine finished almost. Yeah, it does. It's got that sweet on the end. Mm -hmm. Except I've literally fried my nose. I can't smell anything. Thank you, Shelby. Hmm. That is very sweet. I oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you guys are drinking with us so that we all can't remember I'm anything because that's the way it should be. Like, I we come on here and I I feel like we're drinking with a bunch of friends, so that's yeah, what I it, like. It to definitely do. kills Hooters. Um, yeah. Oh, H. I I could tell you some stories about uh, tilted kilt. Tilted kilt. I'm gonna leave those for another time. Um, I got stories of tilted kilt. Just bring in brand the new blind meetup in October, and uh, I will be sharing all sorts of random yeah. stuff. Also, uh, we may have some spots open left for the August 22nd barrel pick at New Riff. So make sure uh, make sure you stay tuned for that because there's not many. No, there's. We'll probably. That was weird. Are you malfunctioning? No, my glass malfunctioned. How does the glass malfunction? I don't know. Tilted kill is way better. However, it's still false I mean, advertising no matter where you go. That's true. If you want to know how to do it, I know totally know how to do it. <laughs> we need that episode. Which one? Where we go to Twin Peaks and do it there? Do my part for the CEO. Nick. Thanks, Nick. We'll add you and your wife. Now, the trick is if you win the sample, it's yours. No. If she wins the sample, it's hers. If you win the sample, you have to share it. Because that's the way it works. What's hers is hers and what's mine is ours. True story. Right? True story. All right. Some more Four Roses. I need a tall pour to finish this live stream. Small Tommy's select. calling you out. Tommy ain't calling shit out. Tommy oh, knows I better. Think he's calling you out. Tommy knows better. <laughs> uh, a new riff is going to be the bomb, and I'm super stoked about it. You have no idea. So um, we're going to go to New Riff in the morning, and then uh, we may head over to another distillery that evening for an after-hours tasting of a shit ton of barrels. And it's going to be epic, and we so need a nearby hotel. Uh, to crawl to. <laughs> um, so Eric Bogart has an a important question, since I wasn't going to be the one to say it. How do you get to be a part of the New Riff barrel pick? Like after the chosen or the, um, the couple spots, it's going to go out to uh, Patreon first, and if um, anyone can make it, their names will be put into a randomizer. If there's not enough spots, and then um, if there is a spot left open, it'll go out to the nation on Facebook. So, I have a feeling our Patreon people are going to be picking that one up pretty quick, though. Yeah, yeah, it's going to go quick. I so. don't expect it to go to the nation. Sorry, citizens. You're just going to have to buy a bottle of it and know that uh, the well, master person. Patreon members also get first dibs of bottles, too. Oh. So there's that. That may not go to the nation, mm -hmm. then. 
Sorry, y'all. Um, I, I hate to do it in like some sort of tiered we, system. I, I really do, but it's just the fairest way that we've come across. We found. So, so. Um, got to take care of the people that take care of us. So, the people that put. So I guess the, the answer show. is Eric. Uh, if you want to be a part of mm -hmm. that or part of the pick or anything like that, you might want to join our Patreon. I hate to even say it like that, but it, it's just the way the world runs. We are District Nine people. <laughs> Can you compare Four Roses small batch versus Four Roses single barrel? Uh, I definitely, I definitely like the single barrel better than the small are you, batch. Are we talking? Are we talking just the standard this is single the small barrel? Batch select, if right. that's what you're talking about. In which case, I mean, it would depend on the night for me. Um, yeah. I, I hope you're talking about when you say single barrel, the OBSB, because uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so we're talking standard. I um, think that the single barrels are a little more smoother than the small batch select. Yeah, the, the small There's batch select is more, more, heat. more spicy, more, just a little bit more, more, if that makes any sense. Um, the OBSV, though, the standard single barrel is just so well balanced and grounded that it's it's like Old Faithful. Like, it, it's just always there. It's always on standby. Okay. YL says that the four rows of single barrel sucks. Single barrel kicks ass. I, I think it means small batch. Small batch sucks. Single yes, barrel kicks that's ass. What did I say? Single barrel. No. Oh, yeah. I'm Who's not. drunk now? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I knew where he was going with that. <laughs> Don't. I picked up OESK. Oh my gosh. I freaking love OESKs, man. They're always on the spicy side, and they're usually pretty – I don't want to say one-dimensional, but they're always along that same path. Mm. So, cheers so, to Nick. You might – I accidentally, uh, for Nick, chugged my four-gate. We need to give some uh, tasting notes on the four-gate. That is absolutely fabulous with just the right amount of cherry. The nation is imbibed. <laughs> uh, yes. yes. We're pretty toasted. I think uh, it's penetrating. Terrence through my is mouth. a new Patreon Lung member. Lung chug tipsy. Yes, that's what I was about to say. It went through soft tissue. I it, it hit my bloodstream. Thank you, Terrence. That is super, super awesome of you, man. We appreciate it. That's freaking awesome. And Eric, yes, it's totally time to join the nation or a Patreon. Um, You're already a part of the nation. Well, I mean, you got to go to, you got to be in the nation anyway. I mean, that's that's just a given. So. What you doing? I was just looking. Yep. Terrence Scott, appreciate you. We do. Um, Four Gator Masters Keep in our in our opinion, uh, Masters Keep. Of the Kelvin Cooperage Masters Keep, of. We haven't tried the blue four gate yet. So of the well, red I mean, four gate versus master's keep tonight, I'm going with the master's keep. Um, I'm going to revisit everything I drink tonight because I really do think that this one lung chugging business has really effed me up tonight. Mm. Uh, yeah. The, the split save Kelvin Cooperage is really good. That's this one, which is four gate batch number four. It's good. Um, it's got the right now amount of cherries with the, it's, uh, it's not overly. It's definitely on the sweeter side. Cherries, vanilla, barrel, obviously. Um, it's good. It's well-rounded, but it, it does feel like a finished bourbon and it is. This but, one's a finished bourbon? What mm -hmm. is it finished in? Cause I think it's pork. Oak. Oh, mm, that doesn't help me much. <laughs> No, uh, finished in new American white oak toasted and charred casks. Oh, okay. So, um, and it's, you can tell, it's not like it's overdone, but it's, yeah. It's really sugary. It's really on the sweet side. It is. Um, With a I, nice finish. Again, spoiler alert, I like the batch three, four gate better. That's what we're doing now. Now the key is batch three, four gate or master's keep. Oh, shit. That's going to be a tough one. So, Freddie, Gar Freddie Vargas asks. The nation is where it's at. It is. Um, Freddie Vargas asks, he hasn't seen any E.H. Taylors. What up do you like? What do you like? 
uh, I don't like E.H. Taylor, so you don't want me to keep on going on that one. Do you like E.H. Taylor? Like, what? what's your thoughts? I guess that's what you're asking. Thoughts on E.H. Taylor? Dane, what's up? Um, E.H. Taylor's good. It's, it's, it's good at retail. Um, I wouldn't pay a whole lot more than retail for what's it. What's retail on it? If it's over 40. 70. Oh, it's 40? Really? Yeah. I was going to say, if it's over 70, it's definitely not worth it. Don't buy it. It's gross. But for uh, get my ugly mug off, <laughs> we can help you out with that. There you go. There you go. Uh, uh, I, Kenneth, I totally agree with you. E.H. Taylor is so overrated. It's, it is not good. It, it is good. She doesn't like Buffalo Trace. I like it. It's good. The cool part is but, I can consistently call Buffalo Trace products. Uh, there's there's time other and time again. yes for even for the price like it's uh dane says that the single barrel uh eh taylor is good it is i'm glad that you guys it like is. it i at least I, you won't ever I... have to worry about me drinking your eh taylor or most buffalo trace per i mean there are there is the exception um i actually had a william no it was uh it was a weller I had a Weller I actually liked, which I was totally shocked and surprised by. Off profile. It was culture. totally off profile and it was absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah. yeah. Like Steve said, it's perfectly good bourbon, but it's not worth the hype. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy Minshew is now a patron. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. I hope we get to drink at some point. Uh, if you aren't heading over to uh, our meetup, uh, you guys were cracking me up last night. I was in stitches. Tommy and I had we had fun. Yeah, we had a good time. Kyle became a. To I was telling Kyle you, man, that seriously, yes, totally, Dane. Awesome. Go buy some rare breed. That is so much better. And I don't. Who makes rare breed? That's a uh, turkey. turkey. Yeah. Um, although I do like Russell's Reserve over rare breed. I would agree with that. Uh, or even wild single barrel, single barrel, not the ten year, not the ten. Do year. I like Stag Junior? Depends on the batch. I did like batch twelve. I was it thirteen? Did I get, twelve. I got my yeah, I got my numbers right. I always screw them up. Um, I, typically, I liked George, uh, the Stag of seventeen and eighteen. Nineteen was gross. It's really hit or miss with Buffalo Trace and I. I mean, Russell store pick. Yeah, 100%. I would take an Elijah Craig over E.H. Taylor. Yes. Yes, I would do that too. All right. Grab the uh, grab the batch three. Yeah, because I'm about to die. I can literally still feel my lungs. It really hurts. So this is batch three, Four Gate Whiskey Company. I like to mm. mix rare breed, which is not great. This is just Kentucky Straight Bourbon Did Whiskey. I? Barrel proof, nine year, nine month. Batch three, bottle number 105, alcohol 59.7, so 114.4 proof. This should huh. be more aligned with Aaron's palate. So someone's calling me out, and I'm probably, now that I'm thinking about it, I totally oh. did say I didn't like Rare Breed. Do I like Rare Breed or not? I think so. I don't see why not. I sometimes why I've not. been drinking, and sometimes I forget what I like and what I don't. So if I said I didn't like it, I'm sorry. Not that I usually do that. Trying Woodenville for the first time tonight. Fairly impressed, but surprised it's not a weeder. Um, Woodenville, I, when we tried it, man, it was it was really good. I don't remember that one. Uh, that was a sample that somebody sent us. He printed out the picture of the front and back. Oh, that bottle. Yeah, it was really good. It was. I don't remember what I would say it was worth, but are, isn't that the wasn't that a fifteen dollar bottle? Was that the fifteen dollar bottle? Four gate. No, yeah, four gate. Glass? That's not mine? No, that's mine. I just poured it. Oh. I've drank way too much tonight. I mean, that's subjective. It's not the uh, most I've ever drank, but... I'm looking at getting Maker's Mark cast strength. What do I think? And no. That's just my opinion. A lot of people Wait, really whoa, like whoa. it. Is that the rye? It's the water. Oh. Um, yeah, the... The, the Baker's Mark cast drink to me is just really, really, really hot. And I mean, like, there's just a lot of ethanol in there. Um, I, I don't yeah, remember. The Maker's 46. I really like the Maker's 46. 
Makers 46 was very good. Um, I love the Woodenville finished. And aside from Woodenville HS high school grad, that's awesome. I didn't write. Uh, at one point, I said I didn't like the rare breed. Um, and I think it was the bottle that I had. It was just, again, it was really hot. And then the next. We were drinking. I drank rare really breed good. on my. No, I was telling someone to drink rare breed on my birthday. I'm trying to think the last time I had rare breed. I had rare breed in my. Isn't that what we put in my eggnog? No. What did we put in the eggnog? Uh, that was wild turkey, but that was. Um, I swore that was rare breed. No, it was the four. That was the long, long, long thing. Branch. Yeah. Okay. Why am I thinking rare breed? Long branch. Got to keep your cork wet. You know what I mean? Okay. I felt the cork and it was dry. Okay. My favorite is half 1776 and half 1776 rye. Oh, I heard fighting cock was good. <laughs> nope. Negative. Uh... Shit's gross. <laughs> um, actually, um, Matt Porter from ADHD Whiskey really likes the fighting cock. Um, well, someone needs to like it. All, all honestly, I haven't had it in a little while, so that is the time. Uh, time to revisit. Oh, thank you, somebody, for clicking on that. I appreciate it. I don't know who's got the wrench, but I appreciate it. Someone's got a wrench. Someone, we got wrenches. I haven't seen a wrench in a long time, but Steve. oh, see you guys back. Okay, I thought you left for a hot second. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Cheers. So um, right. the four gate batch three is, is in my glass. Oh, just so fucking good. All Caramel, I'm, vanilla, oak, all I'm baking is spices. Cherry. Like lots and lots here. Maybe a tiny bit of cherry in there. Um, you sure that's not it? So for science, I'm going to dump this out and put some actual in my glass. You can drink it because I can't. Oh, look at all the fighting cocks. So uh, we got some people that are. I think it's this one. Okay. I can't smell anything here. For science, I'll do this. I'm going to chug this. I don't even know what this is. We got two glasses over here because Aaron is. I think it's the fourth. Here. Game, but I'm not sure. This one doesn't have anything. I can't keep up with you guys, so I usually end up with two or three glasses. Not going to lie, the fighting cock bottle with the gold emblem is a damn good looking bottle. It, it's pretty cool. It looks awesome. Um, I, I just like Wild Turkey 101, man. Okay. Pour me a little bit more. Sorry. That show button is getting a workout tonight. Anytime we start talking about dickle and cock. I yeah, because apparently you can't say this. Oh, it's over there. Anytime YouTube sees dickle and cock, they're like, eh. Nope, time out. There's the cock again. Still need to try Fighting Cock 103 proof for the $16. I think that's the one we actually did a sample of. Yeah, and it's in full disclosure, it's been a couple years since I've had it. Um, so I'm I'm excited it has, to try it. It can't be more than like a year and a half because you haven't been on the live that long. 101 is 24. That's about what 101 is here. There's some people around the country that get 101 for like 14 bucks. Is that ridiculous. Just put that anywhere. Don't mind if I do. Um, or knob on my dickle. Yes. You can knob up my dickle any day. <laughs> um, knob over dickle. Imagine wild turkey 101 store picks. Oh, that would be, that'd be dangerous. Uh, they do. They're uh, Kentucky Spirit. Kentucky Spirit is basically 101 store picks. It's a 101 single barrel. Um, w... Woodford W W Heat. Woodford Wheat. Um, I don't know that I've had the Woodford. Oh, wheat. holy hudge, my Woodford Wheat. Yeah, I like can. Will be. Wheaton. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I. I'm not afraid to try fighting cock because I'm comfortable in my sexuality. <laughs> you may not be after you drink that. Um, I have, like we said, we haven't had it in a while, but. Um. Yeah, I'm still getting that same flavor note. This is not my nose. Ugh. This I've Your smelled worse. Broken. I've smelled worse, but there's something that's off in this. And I need it's to put your nose. 
because you love it. I can't put a finger on it. It's mm. it's a weird smell. Cock. Um, the four gave batch three. There's something off putting in the nose. It's, it's your the amount of drinking you've done. No, because even the amount of drinking I've done, I've still. It's it's got baking spices and pears and apples and caramel and peaches and no i'm talking about the palate oh i haven't tasted it yet um it's barrel it's it's just everything and it's so well balanced and it's so good there is something there that is really bizarre probably the pickles you've been eating no it's not pickle it's the pickles in her mouth. As long as it's not tickle. Um, definitely have all the freight and fruit notes, but there is something on the finish that is a little weird, and I can't. So it was in the nose too. It's in the it it, it 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 follows it through through the nose, so that's at least a good thing in some ways. But I can't. A quick summary of the bourbon so far. Uh, first was Old Carter. Bourbon batch three, one hundred and six point eight proof, and it was. There's no finish on this. Leathery, smoky goodness. Yeah. Um, Wild Turkey Seventeen Masters Keep Bottle and Bond. Pear so baking well spice balanced. by the fire. Yeah, so well balanced. Um, so good. So good. So so good. Still gonna call it over all of it. Next was Four Gate Batch Four Kelvin Cooperage. Super sweet. Very sweet, um, lots of flavor, um, I good depth got of flavor, but very sweet. Super sweet, like sugary candy sweet. And number four was the Four Gate Batch 3, uh, the non-finished version, nine-year, nine-month Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Weird. There's something, it's not, it's not, it's weird, but not bad, if that makes any sense. Um, Old Car Wild, Wild. No, it's, it's just straight delicious. I may have gone and bought another couple bottles, so. Of course you did. Of course I did. Do you guys have any Texas bourbons in Tennessee? Yes. Well, wait. No. Uh, we have. We have them in our cabinet. Does that count as being in Tennessee? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a couple that are available in the stores. Um, that's for sure. Especially your bigger ones, your um, Iron Root, your Balconis. Um, Tommy wants to know if you have a couple had of those. Yes, he's had Fighting Cock. We did a review on it um, uh, a I while don't back. I think we did a review. Yes, on we it. did. Because I remember the bottle. I remember pouring the bottle and I said, this has to be bad. <laughs> or was that Chicken Cock? Uh, that was Chicken Cock, oh. which was disgusting, by the way. Sorry, mixing my bottles up at this point. Um, yeah, it's been a couple years since I've had Fighting Cock. And we have an I, Iron Root. I would like to revisit it again. Uh, YL, we have a Iron Root uh, pick we did that is on its way to us finally. It only took almost a year, but it happens. Balconis Brimstone, that is straight up campfire, homie. I need to straight get my hands. Campfire. I still need to get my hands on some Ranger Creek. It's all gone. At I this know. Point. It's so sad. Uh, if um, you can find Ranger Creek that was the port finished, that is the best finished bourbon I have ever had. And I would, I think I probably drank six or seven shots of it, like in a row. If I could have had my way, I would have drank the whole bottle that night. That was the best bourbon I've had in a long, long time. Garrison at a hundred bucks. I I would have to taste it, man. I have um, a couple Garrison brothers, and they're just not great. So just tumbleweed smoke. Literally, that's that's what it is. Um, like putting dip in instead of tobacco. It's a campfire ash. That does not sound tasty. Uh, whatever that is, I don't uh, need that. Bell sentence. Meads? Yeah, we have quite a few of the Bell Meads. Uh, mostly the... Um, we have a few different single barrels. Um, and then some of the... A couple different years of Black Bell, the Honey, um, the Madeira, the Morvedere, the... Morvedere? What? Um, we, have the, we have the Sherry. No, not Madeira. sherry, not cognac, um, not port. Uh, I don't know where. 
no, it's some of the brandy. brandy there you finish. go. Yes, we um, did have a brandy finish. Yeah. Um, we know the guys up at um, Bellmead, Nelson's Greenbrier, and cool people. They're great. Um, and we go up there for a lot of their releases. So, Terrence, if you can get a part, seriously, if you can get a hold of their port finish, that was literally the best I've ever had. And I kept dragging like anyone I ever, uh, we were at uh, the Bastards Ball and anyone that came and talked to me, I'm like, dude, have you had the port finish? Come on, let's go drink some more. And like, it got so bad. I just take my glass and I just walk up like this and Rangers Creek was just pouring it straight into my cup. I didn't have to ask for it at that point. Uh, we killed it. It was absolutely amazing. Mm. Insane. It's insane what Wild Turkey does with one Nashville. Yes, I totally agree, YL. Um, that was the last of the four gate. Fuck, it's good. It's yours. I, I just not my uh, cup of tea. It's not horrible. It's not bad. There's something weird about it when I when I can breathe again. I'll our majority it out. of bourbon companies owned by overseas company. Of the big ones, um, Heaven Hills all that's left. Heaven Hill still family owned. I think that's it. Four Roses is owned by a Japanese company. Yeah. Um, so is Beam. Beam Suntory. Yep. Um, uh, I for Diageo might be an overseas brand. Not sure off the top of my head. I don't think Brown Foreman is. Mm, I Made. think yes, it is. Who owns Brown Foreman? Um, Where's David when we need him? Yeah, there's there's a, there's quite a few big name bourbon companies that are owned by overseas companies. Um, they still do everything here. They're just owned by. Another uh, moose. Four gate three or master's keep seventeen. Who said moose? I did. Moose did. Moose said moose. Sorry, <sighs> man. That's that's not fair. Southern that's... Comfort owns for Brown Foreman formally. Oh, formally owned Southern Comfort, and before selling them off. No. Um, looks like Brown Foreman's owned by Brown Foreman. So maybe Brown Foreman's still American owned. Um, have I ventured into Japanese whiskey? Some. Uh, some Nika from the barrel. A um, couple different stuff. It's it's okay, but it reminds me a lot of scotch. And I'm not a big scotch guy. So. Tell me what's to know if you've had Legion. And the answer is yes. Legion, yeah. Yeah, Legion. Um, Levant. Um, yeah, Legion. Legion's good. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, Brown Foreman does Irish too, I think. Dude, I do like a good Irish whiskey. Just side note. Um, yeah. Yeah, I do. I think I so, drank myself sober. Yeah? That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. I really am. Uh, Hibiki Harmony. Um, I haven't had that. There's a lot I haven't had. I don't think I have, but I want to. <laughs> really? You want to? Is there a bourbon out there that you don't want to That's drink? not bourbon. It's a Japanese whiskey. Habiki. Right. But still, I'm just saying bourbon, whiskey. The, the harmony I've read about it, it just sounds so freaking delicious. Um, Proper 12, it's freaking garbage. Japanese Um. I want to also want to try the red breast Lestau. Also, you would really like the Lestau, probably. Probably. It sounds um, like it sounds it sounds like Armagnac. It sounds Frenchy and Italian. -y ooh, and... I could go for a good Armagnac. We've got some. That'd be a good way to close out the night. Are we gonna add that to the table? Because God knows we will take a picture. So uh, before um, we clean this up, it'll probably be tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon in the light of things. Uh, and we'll... that will have the new Old Forester single barrels. Uh, I'm yeah. I mean we um, we've got a couple like yeah yeah. There's there's, there's some do. stores that if it's available they'll have it. Um, proper twelve is sink cleaner. Um, I haven't yeah. had it so. I would love to do a uh, battle of the bourbons of the worst bourbon and figure out what no, wins the most terrible. Horrible. Oh, I think that sounds great. I'm not gonna be a part of that though. So you guys, we've been on an hour and yep. a half. My lungs are absolutely burning. Um, Tommy and Terrence, absolutely. That 
um, everyone that super chatted, definitely appreciate you guys. We do. Um, Tommy and Terrence, new Patreon members. Thank, thank you, you guys. Um, every single one of you guys is helping to build the bar slash studio and, you know, find just, yourself in middle Tennessee and give us a couple more months. We will, uh, definitely love to have some force with you. Um, as long as you don't mind uh, rug rats running in and informing you of all sorts of random facts at random times. It's going to be a no kid zone. <laughs> not if I'm in there, they're all going to come to me and I am not spending my Tell time away from it. To start. There you go. <laughs> Pray for. Um, um, yeah. So you so. guys are all freaking amazing. Everyone in the chat, you guys are amazing. Um, Thanks for just, coming on and drinking with us. Coming yeah. and hanging out with you guys, man. There's, there's no agenda. We just yeah. sit and chit chat. Hopefully next time I don't inhale bourbon because I'm dying. Um, don't so, die. It's bad for your health. Yeah. I'm going to go die so, somewhere else now. Yep. So uh, I'm going to be putting in insulation in the bar or in the studio tomorrow. If uh, anyone wants oh, to. Oh, Monroe docked in. Monroe. In at the final seconds. So we need to drink something and cheers to your honor. I have this. I don't know what this is at this point, but we got you down. You're on the list. Uh, on I will take it if if I don't take a picture, I'll make sure Kyle does of everything that's available um, on our table tonight. And you're there's welcome to. Yeah, there really here, is. I, I'm Someone's pretty, gonna be happy. I'm pretty excited at like, looking out among our bottles so. and some stuff that we don't usually drink. Like normally, we have a Booker's on the table. There's no Booker's. Actually, I take that back. There's an empty bottle of back your barbecue I killed. It's sitting on the table, but um, it's empty. So. Um, Appreciate but yeah. you guys. Appreciate all y'all. We just love coming on, hanging out with you guys, drinking. You can't drink alone, right? I mean, it's bad luck or something. It's not bad luck. It makes you an alcoholic. You can't be an alcoholic yeah. if you're drinking with friends. There you go. So, so cheers, Monroe. Till next Friday, noon central. That's the regular. And come check us out on Friday night. And Tommy. we'll be in. Yep. You got it, Tommy. Cheers. Tommy boy. If these don't count, that's true. True story, bro. Woo! Good stuff. He's wooing. It's time to end it. Good stuff. Good night, all. I don't know how to end it. There's a the button. Goodbye.